Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. So what do we have for Cancer for March? If you're watching this in February, I urge you to watch it in March. You know, to come, you can watch it now because this is a preview of what's to come. Um, it could resonate now, but it is intended for March, okay? So what do we have for Cancer? Well, I think we will take those. basket recognition reward for merit so this is being recognized it also looks like it's harvest time it looks like you are going to have plenty horseshoe good luck so something good is coming to you you're going to be recognized you're going to be recognized for your hard work by the looks of things you could be getting a reward so you may be getting some sort of reward Luck is on your side in March. So that's a good thing. What do we have for Cancer? One card, please. Overall energy for the month. Fertility. You could be dealing with an Empress. You may have... A Taurus or a Libra around who, or somebody else. This is uh, the birth of a new life. It's creating a new life. It's, it's tender, loving care. It's being loved. Abundance. Um, it is definitely a fertile uh, time. This is receiving a reward, receiving a blessing. Uh, the Empress gives birth. She delivers. She's beautiful. She does everything with love. Okay, and she creates. So you could be dealing with a creator, or this could be your energy where you're in the process of creating a new life. Okay, um, it's definitely a very fertile time. Uh, it's a time of incubation. So I feel like you you are you're you're starting something new, and it can grow into something beautiful. So something this is this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a new life where there will be love and abundance. A lot of love because the Empress does everything with love. And, there, and you know, the Empress gives birth at the end of a painful situation to something beautiful. So something beautiful, it's a miracle. You're, you're, you're going to be receiving something that really warms your heart. Now this could be the very beginning, okay? Because it's, it's, a, it's a very fertile time. So, you know, you, you start the process now. And in nine months or, you know, a little bit more, that's when you receive your, the ultimate reward. That's when you look back and you realize that all the pain that you went through was worth it. So this is the beginning, okay? This is the beginning of the process. You're in the process of creating a new life. Now what is nine months? So March, December, something in December, you will, you will be feeling so blessed by December. But this is the beginning, and it's beautiful. You'll be glowing, you know, and whoever you're dealing with will also be glowing. There could be somebody that is coming to help. This is somebody that is very nurturing, very caring, very loving. Oh, here it is. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Now, I got somebody here that is smelling the roses. Roses are a symbol of romance. So there is going to be some sort of attraction this month um, that starts something new. So this is creating. You're going to, you're going, it feels like you're going to be, be um, pulled towards somebody that uh, can help you create a new life in some way. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very beautiful, is a very beautiful person, 
is very valuable and has a lot to offer. This is somebody who is serene as well. I feel, I, I feel serenity here. This is something, you know, you are absolutely going to love and enjoy. Okay, so things are about to change for you in a very positive manner. But it comes after pain because the, the Empress, you know, it's a painful situation that leads to abundance and love. So in the, anyway, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment, okay, because this is a time of transition. It's a time of, of growth for you. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time. So enjoy every moment of this creation, whatever it is that you are creating. What do we have for cancer? Ace of Swords reversed. The Sun card. There's your new life. That's a new beginning. It's a new day. This is a breakthrough. This is a loss of power, a lack of truth, a lack of communication, a lack of awakening. That's what starts this, this new life, believe it or not. This, this is happy news. This is good luck. It's positive. It's a positive change. This is enlightenment. After being dishonest or after not accepting the truth, Commitment, happiness, happily ever after. You may not see clearly. You may not believe it, you know, but I, because there's a lack of clarity here. There's a lack of truth. There's a lack of acceptance. You, you may not see it. You may not see it, but this is a big, bright opportunity for happiness, commitment, togetherness. There's going to be a get together. There, for some of you, there could be a reunion if that's what you're looking for. But there is going to be a get-together. This is a commitment. This is committed, being committed to happiness. So this is probably not what you think it is, even, you know, because this is, uh, I think it's something a little bit different than what you think it is. You are going to have an opportunity for extreme happiness. There's no doubt about it. None. You are attracting something very, very bright, very positive, very beautiful, very nurturing, very loving. You are. You're attracting something. And there's a mutual attraction between you and another person. I do believe that there that you are there's there's an upcoming get together, okay, with somebody that you are very much attracted to. If you don't know this person yet. Um, I think that you do know this person, but if you don't, um, there's something about outside. You, you might meet this person outside or you've met this person outside. Something about being outside in nature. You know, I think that you'll meet this person outside if you haven't met this person yet. Maybe it may have something to do with gardening or uh, flowers or the home. You know, it may have something to do with the home. Either way, we have a bright new beginning here that is going to make you extremely happy. You may, you may feel like somebody will say no or that you'll be rejected, but the answer is yes. The answer is yes with the sun card. Okay, so we do have a yes answer here. Um, this is a life-giving energy, a change in vibration. Ooh, temperance reversed. Now, this is uh, unbalanced. Unsure. You may be feeling like something is off, but I'm not sure you're seeing clearly. I feel like something. I feel like there's a pos You're receiving a positive, uh, beautiful opportunity for a new life, but I feel like there's there's uh, 
ungroundedness or uh, fantasy or illusion or something that is causing you not to see it clearly. You have you have something beautiful here, but I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm thinking that you know there's there's something that you're not seeing clearly. Now the sun card is a car, card of warmth. It's a card of a beautiful new beginning. So we definitely have a new beginning here. There's no doubt about it. That could lead to a lot, a lot, a lot of happiness. There's some poor health as well. I think your health is going to be improving. You know, this is poor health, but this is great health. So I think if you've been in an unhealthy situation, your health is going to be improving. We have somebody here that may have gone overboard. They may have uh, done something extremely unhealthy. But there's about to be some sort of enlightenment or a positive change that is coming. And I think we have somebody that has been refusing to change. You know, they've been repeating negative patterns and uh, unbalanced and making poor decisions and unable to master their emotions, but now I feel there's definitely going to be a positive change here. And I feel like you're, you're going to be feeling frustrated because you're, you're probably, it feels like you're reluctant to uh, trust maybe with the Ace of Swords reversed. Now this is needing to accept and allow, but not really wanting to. So it feels like you're, you're, you may be struggling with this change. You definitely have a positive change here. Something positive is coming to you. You're, there's a mutual attraction between you and another person that could really grow into something beautiful. But there's not taking any approach on your own. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of breakthrough that um, leads you down a new path of some sort. Ooh, there is definitely going to be a breakthrough. So this is a faded event. This is, this is a dismantling of a false sense of security. This is a forced change. The universe is going to be forcing you out of a situation that is not stable, that is not secure, that is built on false pretenses. Somebody could be getting thrown out. There's going to be some fireworks this month. There is. Somebody could be, there could be a relocation, you know, starting with a clean slate, going someplace else. I do feel like somebody's being cut as well with the Ace of Swords reversed. I mean, I feel like there's a cut, and I was going to say at the beginning, somebody's being cut out, you know, making a cut, severing ties perhaps. There could be a severing in ties, a severing of ties that are cutting of a cord with somebody because there's an opportunity, a positive change is an opportunity for love here. Anyhow, the tower is a fated event. Is it's like a shock, a shocking change that brings you towards happiness. I do feel like light is going to be shed on a situation. Uh, things are going to change really, 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 really fast all of a sudden. Um, it has to do with a commitment. Somebody may be becoming committed. They may they may be becoming committed to somebody, or it could even be to an institution. Because this is committed and this is an institution. So I'm not sure what is going on. And this is needed for optimal health. It is needed for better health. We have somebody here that has been going to extremes. You know, or they've been in an extremely unhealthy situation. And it's time to accept and allow change. But there's been reluctant to do so. So that's, this is force. This is the Aquarius energy. It's Uranus energy. So this is force change. I do believe that... Uh, there's going to be some sort of upheaval, and there definitely is. There's going to be some upheaval that is actually a blessing in disguise. So this may be happening now, or it could be happening, you know, in March. Um, this upheaval is going to force somebody to change their behavior, you know, to change their life. This is a life. This is a life uh, altering change. It absolutely is. Um, something very, very positive is coming your way. And, and I feel like it's because your power, you've given your power away to somebody. Maybe it's a previous commitment that was false, you know, that was built on false pretenses. So the universe is going to bring about some fireworks. So they're going to bring about um, some sort of enlightenment. 
that is going to change your um, situation. Uh, so it feels like somebody is going to be hit. They're going to be hit. They're going to be hit with some sort of awakening. This is a rude awakening. This is definitely a rude awakening. Somebody is getting thrown out by the looks of things as well. They could be getting, they may have done something that was, um, you know, it was being hidden and they're getting caught. You know, somebody get, could be getting caught doing something and they, you know what I want to say? Somebody could end up being committed. Now, I don't know if it's in jail or what, um, but, and I'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody. That could be somebody that you're dealing with. Um, Either way, there's going to somebody's getting a rude awakening that is going to force them to change their circumstances because their circumstances are are not honest, they're not truthful, they're not sincere, okay? They're not it's not sincere. I, there's severing ties with a commitment that is no longer stable, it's built on false pretenses and starting a new life with love, and that is exactly what I see. But I feel like I feel like there's been resistance, resistance to change, and now the universe is going to force it, and they're they're bringing you together with somebody that you know can really nurture you and take care of you and love you that you know that you know can make you extremely happy. But if you are resisting it, then the universe has to has to force it. So there is going to be some sort of forced change. Um, Somebody's been doing something thinking thinking that you know they're never gonna get caught or that you know think that you know this is gonna stabilize or it's gonna get better. It's not gonna get better. It's time for a change. It is definitely time for a change. So I feel like this month there's gonna be some labor pains and there's gonna this is the beginning of you know a, a, a beautiful thing, but you have to go through the pain to get the blessing. So anyway, there's going to be a severing of ties this month. Um, somebody's uh, going to be going down a, a new path. This is a breakthrough. It really, really, really is. Well, we, have, we have one, two, three, four majors. So this is the universe. This is the universe that is creating a new life. You are, you are in the midst of creating a new life. Um, we have a fresh start here as well with these two cards. Somebody's going to be starting from scratch. Okay. The Emperor Reverse. This, this is somebody that is inexperienced, that is corrupt, that doesn't want responsibility, that doesn't care who they hurt. This is somebody that is... A tyrant this tyrant is going to extremes they are unwilling to change they don't want to change and the universe is going to force them to change now this is a boss or a father figure or somebody that is very arrogant very egotistical that is very controlling that is uh, more interested in what society has to say than uh, love and whoever this person is is about to get a rude awakening we have somebody here that's about to get a rude awakening. They are about to um, be enlightened as to uh, what really matters in life. Something's going to be taken away. Um, something of value is going to be taken away, um, unfortunately, because it's, it's built on false pretenses. It may have something to do with a home or a business or something like that. Um, the Emperor in Reverse is somebody that is inexperienced, that is, is mean-spirited, that is on the wrong side of the law, um, that is abusive, that is uh, very, very um, hard. So we definitely have a hard individual here that doesn't know what love is. And this person is about to be enlightened. They are about to be enlightened in a very, very, very big way. This person has been repeating negative patterns over and over and over again. This is like a uh, narcissist or a tyrant that likes to have control, that will do anything to have control. Whoever this person is, it feels like they've built something up on false pretenses and it's about to come crashing down. And it's going to crash down hard, hard. 
And this is this is this is light being shed. Light is being shed on somebody's falseness. Seriously. This is somebody that is extremely unhealthy that is never going to change unless they experience the tower moment. I feel like there's going to be some grieving. There may be some regrets this month. There may be regrets because somebody is creating a new life. I mean, we have, a, we have a beautiful person here that is going to be getting into some sort of commitment. You know, they are. They're, they're, they're headed towards happiness. And whoever this other person is, is really going to be regretting not taking action, regretting getting themselves involved with a false sense of security, you know, re regretting um, staying put and not changing. So we definitely have somebody here that is going to be grieving over a loss. Um, and I feel like it's because we have a new life that is being created right now. Okay. That it's a very fertile time. So, you know, I do believe that we have somebody that is going to be getting together with somebody that, you know, they can build a strong foundation with after they have been reluctant to let go of a false sense of security and whoever they're dealing with is going to be having extreme regrets over, you know, not changing in time. They wasted some time. Anyhow, Cancer, I do believe that this is the time for creating a new life for you. You're, you are going to be starting with a clean slate. I feel like you, some of you are going to become committed. You know, you may be getting into a new commitment. I do see reluctance here, resistance to change, but I do feel that there's going to be a mutual reach, attraction between two people that could grow. And I think it could grow into like a forever situation. Um, I do feel like um, somebody is going to be feeling very, very... Um, disgruntled or uh, unhappy about the change. Some, but there is one person here that is not going to be happy. They're going to be angry. They're going to be upset. Um, this is somebody that is very controlling. They're very, very controlling. They don't want to lose control. They don't want to lose control. Um, I, there's definitely been some sort of... Uh, lies with that tower card there's lies there's deception there's 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 something here that isn't stable it's not stable it's not secure it's not strong and it's and it's clear that it's not strong this foundation is not strong it's absolutely clear so yeah i feel like there's going there could be an argument there could be an argument that somebody is going to be shook okay they are going to be shook by a change that they have been resisting okay um, you may not see that this is a blessing, but there is a blessing that is coming for you. You know, and with the five of cups, this is grieving over a loss when there's another opportunity for love. So there is an opportunity for a union, for a partnership, for love that has been ignored or it has been missed. But whatever is happening this month, the universe is, is, is forcing somebody to see. They are forcing somebody to see the truth. They are forcing somebody to start with a clean slate. They are forcing somebody to rebuild a foundation. So anyway, I do believe that there is going to be some upheaval. There's going to be some chaos and there's forced change here. This is actually very, very, very positive. This leads to happiness. It leads to a new life. It leads to love because the Empress and the Sun card are love and the Four of Wands. So we have love here that will be had after it looks like a painful experience. I mean, the Tower is never good. And I will get people that want to sugarcoat it and say, oh, it's a good thing. It is in the end. It's a blessing in disguise. And this totally is a blessing in disguise. It absolutely is. Something to do with a father or a very masculine energy that has abused their power. You know, this is somebody that is abusive, that is unhealthy, 
that is uh, going to extremes, trying to pretend, trying to pretend something. Somebody is trying to pretend that they're stable. It doesn't have to be a father. It could be a mother that is very masculine. This is somebody that is trying to, that is fake, okay? This person is fake. They're pretending something. Reality check is coming. It's not true. It's not true. So anyhow, um, be prepared to experience a major change that leads you to a new life. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, I feel like it's gonna be painful because there's so much resistance. There is, there's resistance. Some of you may be moving to a warmer place Okay, because this is moving, this is a warmer place after resisting the change. Some of you may be actually now using your heart. You know, there's been, there's been somebody here that has been cold and rigid and this is a wake up call. You know, somebody may be, you know, following their heart. Um, anyhow, Cancer, I do believe that there is some sort of blessing that is coming to you after uh, some sort of event that changes your life in a very positive way. So, um, good luck.